Tip P time my dummies, Top Cat here and welcome back to the channel. This Titan build has the strongest super in the game yet nobody ever uses it. Most super builds sit around 450k damage with exotics like the Star Eater Scales, the Geomags and the Curious of the Falling Star. Our strand supers are a little bit stronger this season doing as much as 700k. But I think this is more of like strangers just come out, they want it strong, it'll just trickle back down and sit amongst the rest shortly. But these still fall short of the Behemoth Titan's glacial destruction. Now with any encounter there is always certain supers that we tend to gravitate to. This coupled with the skill gap required to use the super effectively might be the reason for its popularity. But if you get good with this thing you can pump out over 1.4 million in damage. If you like this vid make sure to smash that thumbs, that being said first we take a look at the Glacial Quake. The super has multiple attacks, the main assault is when you slam the ground to create a glacial shockwave that grows in scale the further they get. The damage comes from breaking these crystals, we can run through them to shatter them or punch through them. Now the beauty is most bosses will actually break these crystals to create seppuku. You want to try and learn the distance of the attack and keep that distance as the larger crystals are at the back and those are the ones that are going to deal the most damage. And with 8 ground slams I tend to average around 860 to 880k damage frequently. We can push this higher with the Syntoseps. It's perk, Biotic Enhancements, it increases melee lunge range and improves melee and super damage when you are surrounded. Now this term surrounded is very loose. I'll often just pop it with my back to the adds as you can tank a bit of damage whilst you're in the super. This super has very high resistance. But once it is done you can still break any crystals left on the field for more damage. I once got 2 million damage against Rolk with one super. Now if you pair this with a bubble it's very good at trapping those crystals. This way you can contain all that damage in one foul swoop. Bear in mind though this only really works on stationary targets. Our first aspect is Howl of the Storm. While sliding, activate your charge melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets and creates stasis crystals. You can pair this perk with 1-2 punch and it will actually increase the damage the crystal shatter does. I equally like the perk Trench Barrel as we can freeze that target then deliver 50% more weapon damage. Whisper of Fishes works across our Super, Grenade and Howl of the Storm. This increases the damage and size of the burst of the stasis when you destroy the stasis crystals or defeat a frozen target. Our second aspect is Tectonic Harvest. Shattering a stasis crystal creates a stasis shard. This shard grants you melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. And when using the fragment Whisper of Hunger we can cycle this attack frequently. This increases the melee energy gained from picking up these shards. The Howl of the Storm makes 3 crystals to make 3 shards for 90% of your melee returned. Now to get the most shatter from our supers we want to use weapons like the Anarchy that do area of effect damage. We now need only to apply 2 grenades for maximum damage. I stick 1 to the target and 1 to the floor to help break those crystals. These two grenades are going to stay active for about 80% of your super's lifespan. Anarchy being a grenade launcher did get that 20% buff this season and is a lot stronger option now. However this season the 2 tart fox did get its catalyst and now it is truly freaking ridiculous. It's got solar that can scorch and ignite. It's also a void weapon so we can apply volatile around for more AoE damage. But it's the catalyst that gives us a third arc rocket to apply jolt for 8 seconds. This demolishes crystals with ease whilst also damaging the boss as we hit them with our super. It's also good to use in a team to pair with the behemoth. My buddy Starscorch here is running the two-tailed box as I super him. The crystal shatter damage belong to whoever shatter them. So your teammates pants will often swell when they see how much damage output they do when you are around. The iterative loop is a top special choice. This is because we have a truly S tier perk combo of Compulsive Loader and Volt Shot, making it extremely easy to apply Jolt to our foes for tons of free damage and it also helps shatter those crystals. Wither Horde is going to be another great special option. For the longest time I've been using this on all my stasis builds as it is hands down the best weapon for breaking stasis crystals. 
Just simply spooge out a puddle before and after your super for some of the easiest crystal deletion in the game. But in season 20 we also have a glitch with the Striga here that we can apply infinite tick damage that can help break those crystals with ease. After our super we just belt the boss in the face sending out waves of poison. Of which its AoE is actually proportionate to the enemy's size. So big feet, big poison. Once applied you swap to a weapon with Vorpal on it. Like the Canis Major or a Cartesian Coordinate, this poison damage will continue to tick down infinitely as long as you have the weapon out. Now more crystals means more damage so naturally the Glacial Grenade is an easy pick. With 5 large crystals this grenade can deal 80k damage making it so comfortably in the top 5 grenade picks. And with Whisper of Torment and Whisper of Shards we can now up how often we get them. Torment will give us that grenade energy each time we take damage from targets. I'm running multiple resistant mods on my chest piece so I can tank damage to fuel my grenades. And Whisper of Shards, when shattering stasis crystals, you temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals will increase the duration of this benefit. For our mods, I'm running Ashes to Assets, Momentum Transfer, Impact Induction, and Bomber mods. All these mods together will just help create an even better ability spam. I don't want to use any kickstarters as anyway these cooldowns together with the cooldowns we get with our fragments seem more than sufficient. And with the reaper mod, space for two siphon mods on our helmet and heavy handed we've got multiple ways to get an armor charge pre damage phase. I've got a time dilation mod to take our armor charge from 10 seconds to 15 seconds giving 45 seconds with our 3 surge mods for a bonus 22% weapon damage. I find 45 seconds is more than enough time as most damage phases are 30 seconds roughly and with any damage phase that is longer you're probably going to be sit up inside a well so you can use those orbs to make your armor charge. I find this build to be the perfect melting pot of both ability damage and weapon damage. This super might take a while to master but when you think it's 2-3 to three times stronger than other supers it seems crazy to me that not more people are using it. I'll make sure to leave a dim in the description below, thumb it if you liked it, all questions and suggestions are welcome down below and as always, tippy tie my damies, what a tie.